Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to put in a graph using PowerPoint. You can also put these graphs that you make in PowerPoint in Photoshop, you can keep them in your PowerPoint presentations, or you can put them in multiple different places. But doing this, it'll help you make a visual aid that you can put in a presentation or a poster. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to, under PowerPoint, you're going to want to go to where it says insert. Now when you go under insert you're going to see a couple different things. You're going to see images, illustrations, um, forms, add-ins, links, comments, etc. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to chart. Now under chart you're going to see a bunch of different ones and I'm a lot of the, them that you've seen within your time in school. Um, there's stuff with columns, lines, line graphs, pie charts, um, things of that nature. Um, so for today we're going to use a column. But when you're under column you can see that you can really customize what kind of column you want to make. So for this, this is a clustered column. If you wanted to do a stat column, you can click here. If you wanted to do a 100% stat column, you can use that. 3D column, 3D clustered column. The cluster just means that they're all very close together. If you wanted to do a 3D stat column, do one like this. I will not do that one because I personally do not enjoy that one. You can also do a 3D 100% stat column or you can do a 3D column just straight up here where they're all kind of back to back to back. For the purpose of this training I'm going to show you how to do it in just a regular column, a regular cluster. So when you open it up what it's going to do is it's going to show you just, it's going to be a generic category 1, 2, 3, 4 chart title, series 1, series 2, series 3. And then it's going to open up Excel. So in order to create the graph how you want to create it, you're going to need Excel open. So first what you'll see is categories 1, 2, 3, and 4. This controls, say, what, um, what you have right here. So category 1, 2, 3, and 4. So for the purpose of this example, what I will do is we're going to calculate ratings for my competitive news stations. So what we'll do is we'll put in spring in category 1, and then summer category 2, fall category 3, and then winter, everyone's favorite time of the year, category 4. <clears throat> And then we'll change the title, so that way it reflects, we will change it to TV Ratings. By Season. Now what you'll also see is there's a series. Now the series dictates which of these you're talking about. You want to make sure that these are named clearly. So for Series 1, we'll name it My Station. Seven, and then we'll put a couple of my competitors in here. So we'll put myself less, and let's say WSCT. So you can see now I've made it to where each blue column is going to be represented by WDBJ7, orange column by WSLS, and gray by WSCT. Now let's talk about how we change the data set. So over here, where you would see the um, different seasons you can see that there's going to be different figures. So each of these represents each the category of which they're in. So this category is right here. So say if I wanted to change, if I wanted this to go by to 600,000 people. Say if I wanted to say 500,000 people watched our station during the winter time and compared to 300,000 for WSLS and we'll just keep WSET at 200,000. This whole column right here is going to go there. You can even change it for summer. We'll just change it to 300,000 here, 200,000 here, and then 100,000 here. So on and so forth. So you can change whichever, make whatever changes you need to make to the graph just through Excel super easy as you can see you've got your colors you got your um, matching colors with the different stations 
and then you've got your spreadsheet right here to put information. I hope this is, it makes it easier for you to make a graph to put in a poster if you need research to show off or if you want to have a visual aid for any type of presentation. And if you have any other questions, feel free to reach out. Thank you so much. Have a great day.